How you doing, Talcott? Good, Prince of Noctis. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, this thing? It's a cactuar figurine. I really like cactuars. Oh. You can buy them in different places and in different colors. I want to finish the collection, but I still need a yellow one and a blue one. I guess you wouldn't have seen them at any shops, have you? Oh, sorry, no. I never paid attention to them before. Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. But I will from now on. If I see the colors you're missing, I'll grab them for you. Really? Thank you! Hey, Talcott, we got you the goods. What? Oh, really? Whoa! Yes! I got them all now! Thank you so much, Prince Noctis. Aunt Monica teaches me how to fight, like a crown scarred. Give you a call when it's ready. Stand up straight, boy. Ah, y'all brace yourself for power. Ah, y'all brace yourself for power. We saw in Galden. Oh, your paws sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. No restaurants around, though. I wonder if anyone around here knows a thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galden. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. What drew him here, anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course.
Prince Noctis. Even the Marshal came to say goodbye. Huh? I heard the Regalia is going on the boat with you. You didn't forget to pack anything, did you? Have a safe trip, Prince Noctis. Don't you worry. I'm gonna be strong and keep everybody safe while you're gone. You didn't forget to pack anything, did you? I guess it's goodbye for now. The Regalia is already waiting below deck. Hopefully, she'll serve you as well across the ocean as she did here. Just don't break her, or Sid will have your head. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. <sighs> Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it.
The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> for all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding onto the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Insane. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. 
Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> what with Cindy looking after the old girl? If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that seeing her now not at all she's always so cheerful well that ought to tell you how far she's come I mean, you must have seen your fair share of altitia by now yeah only done been the once stayed a good while though what's it like big old city big okay well it ain't the crown city different got it you'll see for yourself Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on old Wes, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax, I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order, you may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago, that's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly.
Finally back on land. Not barely. They call it the Walls of Water, but it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... Well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. It's a photographer's dream. What a si- Eat something? You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. What, already done your business? If we win at the arena, let's grab drinks to celebrate. He just stood there. <gasps> 
They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. How about the cafe in the brochure? Ah! Hello, boys. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Stop by again sometime. What would you like? There's supposed to be a real good photo spot around here. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! Cactuar. Hold on to that. It'll make a great souvenir for Talcott when we get back to Lucis. Think I'll get something to drink. Gintiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. the dress oh let me look up the nearest stop it's not far we can walk it sounds like we're close <laughs> so someone caught the secretary at mago again she and the barkeep sure are friendly there's got to be something going on she wouldn't spend so much time at that place if there wasn't Gondola! Care for a ride? How about a ride on the gondola?
Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? So oh, care to take a cruise? We made it. Now let's hurry over to the arena. Where should we stay tonight? Huh. Splendid. Where are we off to? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time.
Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. <sighs> Greetings. You're not from here. Alessio's my name. Coin collecting's my game. Oracle Ascension coins specifically. Have you any? If you're willing to part with some, I'll gladly trade you a token of equal value. Bring some more coins and I'll have something special in store for you. You know, we did struggle a bit without you. Oh yeah? Couldn't get the fire going. You could've just cast a spell. Kinda overkill, don't you think? Hopeless. Next time I'll show you hacks how it's done. Huh. If we win at the arena, let's grab drinks to celebrate. Any ideas for accommodation? Excuse me, uh, could you point us to the shop with Lady Lunafreya's dress? Just follow this road towards the Secretary's estate. Then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that's to be expected. <laughs> Thank you. She's a big deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. How about the cafe in the brochure? Take a look at this. What about it? What should I buy? Hey, who's up for a bite?
Oh, the dress is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. And it shall be, my love, as surely as I am your Prince Noctis. <laughs> Looks like the Prince has a following as well. Not bad. For a symbol of the peace. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. So, care to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Oh. Take a shot from here. Lighting's no good. Maybe next time. Splendid. Where are we off to? Feels good. Indeed. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. How about the cafe in the brochure? So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. 
Where is Lady Lunafreya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altitia. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Shop till you drop. Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you proceed with caution. Should you ever need it, Marco is at your disposal. Where do you want to go? Have a good look. Lovely. See you later. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Where should we stay tonight? Look who it is. Well then, how may I be of service? I can recommend anything on the menu. Looking to put your skills to the test, eh? That oughta tide you over for a bit.
excellent choice. That ought to tide you over for a bit. Excellent choice. Do take care out there. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the Prince now that he's come back to life. Wait. Is that why she went? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Bet the view's even better from a gondola. So what next? Greetings. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. The gang's all here, see? Us? <laughs> Not bad. Guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time.
Uh, let me get this shot. We ought to hold on to this one. Care to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Welcome, lads. Feeling a bit peckish, lads? You're always welcome here. Wait a sec. I thought there was only one god of the sea. You sound troubled, Highness. Something got you questioning your faith? I wouldn't go that far, but I've definitely never heard anyone tell this tale back home. And which one would that be? Ah, yes, Bismarck. Revered here in Accordo, much like Leviathan is across all of Eos. He's not a deity by definition, but the anglers of Altitia have elevated him to the same immortal plane. They pray to him, hoping he'll help them land a big haul. So, do you think he could help me catch a whopper too? <laughs> I can't say for sure, but I suppose there's only one way to find out. The legend has it, Bismarck spends his time swimming where the seabirds flock. Keep your eyes peeled, and maybe you'll spot him. How about the cafe in the brochure? Let's grab a bite. They're hard at work on reopening the altar of the slumbering sea goddess. Access to the area around the shrine is currently restricted. Let's take a look inside. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. It's a good place to stay. Flavor of the day is...
reckon Aranea has a boyfriend? She is surrounded by guys, but who knows? Why? You fancy her? No. <laughs> My interest is purely hypothetical. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. You're placing your chips on Leviathan. Not all of them. I'm not so naive as that. There are things that you must do for yourself. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. 
Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right, you do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you.
Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis, a dream of peace twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith. For our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, 
Enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. What you must know, that the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. <laughs> Not making this. 
I need your power! If I take you down... Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all in thrall to darkness shall know peace.
it's done. Noctis? Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell, dear Noctis. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. Ah, oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. 
And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you.
So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Gartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. What the hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Has that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? <laughs> she gave her life so you could do your duty. Not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <clears throat> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. Do the glasses help at all? at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. I want to 
head to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl? Give me a break. I I'm just hungry is all. Actually, it's my first time. It's gorgeous. I have no doubt you'll love it there. High Commander Foray has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy and sentenced to execution. Lord Ravis Knox Foray was promoted to the Imperial Army's top post amid the turmoil of the failed peace talks. The High Commander's primary responsibility was restoring stability to Lucis. Yet his campaign against the Hydrian ended in disaster, incurring monumental losses for the Empire and collateral damage to the area. Still no sign of Lady Lunafreya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Imperial quality for you. Should have let a chef from a Cordo handle the catering. step closer to finding the next tomb. Jaro, Becky, and Joe? I hope you look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos. I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Well, did you find them? I guess I better turn around. What's wrong? I came to the Fadina Castino thinking I'd pay my respects at the Royal Tomb. Little did I know, they put the place off limits on account of some accident. So you're saying there's no way inside that uh, Faustino Menudo or whatever? Fadina Castino. Where there's a will, there's a way, I suppose, but I wouldn't take my chances if I were you. Listen, kid, you may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. Listen, kid, you may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. Welcome. 
Grab some food before you go? Take a look at the menu. We'll see you around. Monsters down there don't kill you first. The smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. If you boys are heading into the mine, you best go prepared. Come back again. Come again. Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you're welcome to browse at your leisure. Come again. Hey, kid. Help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Why ask for help when you can just demand it? <laughs> <laughs> 